Further casualties included the three attackers, who were shot by Afghan special forces, plus the original suicide bomber, and a fifth member of the terror gang who had detonated the car bomb inside the hospital complex. The terror group is now such a threat of fear of an attack by ISIS-K is being used to justify the US refusal to delay its withdrawal from Kabul airport after the August 31st deadline set by Joe Biden. The organization has already carried out roughly 100 attacks against civilian targets and another 250 involving U.S., Afghan or Pakistani security services, most of them chronicled via macabre mobile phone videos then gleefully broadcast via the Internet. The attack, which came after a period in which Western air strikes had killed thousands of the terror network's supporters and at least three of its leaders, served as a bloody reminder of its ongoing ability to bring carnage to the streets of Afghanistan. Initially, their activities were limited to suicide bombings and small arms attacks targeting civilians, along with the ob kidnapping, but that was enough to prompt close attention from the U.S who succeeded in killing Khan via a drone strike in July 2016.